Well, greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you are having a fantastic Monday, the first Monday of March meeting that school once more starts again here in South Korea. Now, today's video is a little bit different because last week I was invited to the Gyeonggi Call Center, Gyeonggi Provincial Call Center to do a story on their uh, customer service and tourism and lifestyle line. And that video is going to go up on the Chi Ranger channel on Friday. But while I was there, they actually gave me a welcome gift, which is something that a lot of businesses do here in Korea when you go visit a place. They want to uh, you know, honor your presence and, and, and give you something. And I wanted to open it with you because uh, it looks fantastic. So here is the box. It says Korean originality, Nam Jae Kyung. We'll open it here. Very nice. Let's see. Oh, you know, a very common gift is a like a hand towel. But this looks like it's something a little bit different. And it's a tie. So, a pink tie oh, with Hangul. So it says Hangul. Hangul is a great and proud Korean language, although Korean is not capitalized. Created by Great King Sejong in 1443, this work is designed and by adopting the concept of Korean language Hangul. Hangul in Humin Jong Hum is rearranged systematically on this work to give a modern image. And then information on Nam Jae Kyung here. So let's take a look at this tie. Oh, wow. You know, if, if, if you follow me around on the interwebs, you know that I love having pink things. Actually, little and big tea back there, of course, pink, pink cow suit, cow suit wearing bear. So this is really nice. Uh, let me get a close up of the tie here for you so you can see the way that the hangul is actually highlighted here. And what's really cool is that you see at least one of the no longer used letters. They've actually, I think at one time there were 27 different letters in Hangul, but some have gone the way of the dodo. So um, this is fantastic. So um, uh, Mr. Lee, thank you so much for this gift. I think I will wear this to school this week. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think the kids will get a kick out of it. So uh, that is it for today. Before I go, what is the most unique welcome gift you've ever received? So if you go to a new business, a lot of times when I was in the United States, we'd have a, a ribbon cutting ceremony and we would hand something out to those customers on, that, on those days. What is the most interesting welcome gift you've ever received? Please leave a comment down below. And until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.